Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is composer and sound designer, Jason Donnelly. Jason, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. All right, you know the dance, 30 seconds on the clock and on to the next question. Are you ready? Yes. All right, question number one, describe your job to a five-year-old. To a five-year-old? It'll be easy for you. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just pretend like I'm talking to my daughter. Right. I turn knobs and press keys. And you get paid for that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. I'll tell you what, man. Um, but but I, I don't know. That's a that's a little simplistic. I guess I guess for a five year old, you know, maybe. Yeah. I mean, doesn't she notice that like sound comes out and stuff? Or well, she does, and she turns some knobs. I, I'll set some things up for her. Um, I make noise. There you go. I like that even better. All right, next question. What's the worst thing you've ever said to a boss or a client without thinking? Hmm. A boss or a client? Well, I haven't had a boss in over 20 years. No, yeah, but you've had clients. Yeah. Clients. Uh, wow, that's that's a tough one. Um, it's going to take... <laughs> it'll take less time. <laughs> it's only going to take a couple days. <laughs> yeah, that'll get you in trouble every time. <laughs> Next question. Tell me about your most disastrous cooking experience. Um, it happened just a couple of days ago. I put something in for my oh, popcorn. And I thought, oh, I'll hear it as soon as it starts. And of course, I went back and started tinkering with some things. And I didn't hear anything other than what I was working on. And all of a sudden, I could smell the burning popcorn. And, and it's, it wasn't, it's a stainless steel pot. So I had to get the this, you know, the, the steel wool to clean it out and everything and start all over. Next. Next question. What's the first piece of gear you ever bought where you felt like shit just got real? Uh, oh, well, um, well, there's two come to mind, but I think the first one was uh, Tascam 246, and that would have been in the late 80s. And my friend Dan sold it to me with his Fender 12 string as a package deal. Ooh. And that's when I was like, it's on. And actually it was ever since then. I just wanted to keep learning more about recording. So um, yeah, that, that, and then I think the, the second time would be when I bought it, a Roland JD 800 when it came out. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, next question. Ben and Jerry have just named a new flavor for you. What's it called and what's in it? Um, straight chocolate. <laughs> chocolate and chocolate. I don't know. Um, You're trying to say you like chocolate. I think I do. Yes. If you put dark chocolate in milk chocolate, and maybe even throw some white chocolate in there, and uh, leave it at that. Maybe some chocolate syrup. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Why not? All right. Try Straight chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry. Right, next question. <laughs> if you could have dinner with anyone, living or dead, who would it be and what would you talk about? Mm, well, that's pretty deep. I could get I could get kind of emo on that. And okay, that, could, could, that would probably be my mom. I mean, I never got to meet her. She died when I was not to bring the energy down, but she died when I was when she was giving birth to me. So oh, if wow. I could meet her and have dinner with her, it'd be worth it'd be priceless. I can only yeah. imagine, man. So I hope that's an acceptable answer. That's an acceptable answer. Absolutely. It's a damn good one. All right. That concludes our regularly scheduled questions. I'm now going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to either answer for me a question you wish I had asked you, shamelessly pontificate on something, plug something, ask me a question, whatever you want. It's 30 seconds. Go. I can ask you a question. You want. Okay. Um, well, let's see. I see some guitars on your wall. Uh, if you could get any guitar right now, it doesn't matter the year. It could be a brand new or an old vintage piece, whatever. Uh, is there a guitar that you, you've you always dreamed of owning? Well, there's plenty of guitars I've always dreamed of owning. But mm -hmm. if I could get any guitar right now, I would get back the 1957 Fender P bass that I owned many years ago and stupidly oh, cool. let go. Oh, man. 
that sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, it was, and I loved it, and I hated it, and I wish I had it now. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jason Donnelly, thank you for being our guest. Okay, thanks for having me.